Hello, this is RPGLPs. Welcome back to Let's Play Suikoden. All right, since last time, I'm gonna meet you here out of the Lepent's Mansion. So let's head over here. Let's climb on down, talk to Kryn. Okay. Oh yeah, we did fight a lot of those dolls last time. And actually, I uh, thought about it a lot, and that girl over there to the right, Lorelai, I'm actually going to wait a little bit, uh, and instead of grinding up to level 25 and then quick get her, I will end up waiting just until I'm around level 25, which shouldn't be too far away. I mean, maybe one or two episodes. Maybe I'll even get it today. Sorry if I'm going through that a little too quickly. Yeah, he's talking about the tea. He wants to drink tea. Haven't we heard about that before? Remember that other guy up on uh, Mount Tiger Wolf, I believe? Called Robber's Tea. <laughs> yeah, he he drank his own tea. What an idiot. And crap. We're screwed. Okay. Yeah? What are you gonna do about it? No, we wanna actually tell him that Matthew recommended him. Oh, how nice. Yeah, I understand. We'll we'll give you back your Karinji. Oh, what the heck? Who's Eileen? Well, let's follow this guy. And he's right over here. Oh, it's his wife. Hey, Commander Craze. That bastard's hanging out here. <laughs> he just killed them. Holy cow. He's just slaughtering people. I love that guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Lepid's gonna join our party. We have to reduce party membership by one. Let's actually get rid of Taiho. Since we're not gonna get rid of Kai, he's pretty much the main damage output. Okay, let's use the Unite attack. Now. The odd thing about this scene here is Lepin is an S character. He cannot attack in battle now. Yeah. Which they kind of screw you over with that. I mean, you'd think they'd let you allow you to change your formation around if you're getting an S character, but... Oh well. These guys are easy enough. Also, a couple, people, a couple of you guys have been asking me if... Uh, there's a way of getting a hold of me about future LPs or anything like that. Yeah, I actually uh, made our made my own forums. You can check that out in my About tab on my YouTube channel. So yeah, sign up. It's free, and we can chat about future LPs. There's actually a little bit of a discussion going on there now. So there you go. Anyway, let's head over here, and we get another water rune piece. We're gonna have to attach that to Tears weapon soon enough. Anyways, let's head up here. And before going in that right door, let's head up here. And we get an antique. A totally useless antique. Alright, Craze. It's over. Let's kill him. No, no, uh, we're not gonna kill him, guys. Okay, same battle as before. Oh crap, maybe I should have, uh, <laughs> totally forgot to switch my formation around. Oh well. Now, this episode's gonna be fairly long, because I really want to get to the next couple of towns, actually. We have a lot of recruiting to do after this. 
Uh, so yeah, I want it. I want to fit it all into one episode. Come on. All right. Not bad. All right, you're finished, Craze. Oh. Well, that is true. Hey, it's Pan. That traitorous scum! No. Uh, <laughs> well, he is, but he's still an old-time friend of ours. Yeah, if I'm going too fast in the attacks, well, you can pause. Yeah, what are you talking about, Pan? Ha! Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, now this is a very important piece of dialogue, if you say you're the one person I can't forgive, you'll kill Craze. I'm serious, he'll die, you'll cut his head off and he'll die. But we don't want to do that, though you can if you want, we're never going to see Craze the remaining of the game, but let's just tell him to get the hell out of here. Yeah, that is true, he did kill Tad. Yeah, that's your only that's the only time in the game where you can actually kill somebody without any consequences at all. So let's talk to Leopard here. What the hell, man? Calm down. Yeah. In a Suikoden game, they're uh, talking about divorce. No, no, uh, they're not getting divorced, viewers. Oh yeah, he he wants to keep her safe. That's why. All right, Lepit, join the party. Now it doesn't say this, but Eileen also joined the. Uh, Liberation Army. Hey, Pan wants to join our party again. Yeah, you can lend us a hand. All right, and Pan joins the party for good. Okay, that's all we can do here. Let's head out of here now. And it also doesn't say this, but Kryn, the guy in the end there, he joined our party as well. Uh, same with that rock guy we met in the mansion. And Juppo, the guy who made the dolls. Also, uh, Lepet's servant, Giovanni, he joined our party as well. Alright, now I'm going to take a second. I'm going to meet you back at the headquarters and be right back. Okay, we made it back here to the headquarters. Now let's head up here. Let's actually take the stairs this time and head upstairs to the first floor. Hey, it's Varkas and Sidonia, our old friends. What's going on, guys? Yeah, what are you guys doing here? What do you mean? Hey, hey, yeah, they want to join the Liberation Army. <laughs> A man of few words, huh? Yeah, he just he's just here to rub a little salt in the wound about Odessa. No. Hey, how come he's not, uh... No, oh, he's not telling... Varkas about uh, Odessa. Yeah, let's, they're gonna hold a banquet. Yeah, let's do it.
All right, it's banquet time. All right, let's just talk to a couple people around here. <laughs> uh, okay, Victor. Oh, yeah, this is a blast. Sounds good. How can you even see the moon? We're in a stone building. Okay, well, I'm done here. Let's just go to bed then. Okay, we got an assassin who's trying to kill us. Now, a lot of people say you can use the rune deadly fingertips on him. I did some testing with that. You cannot. It does not work on this guy. You just gotta keep attacking him and eventually he'll go down. I believe it's three turns or so. Yeah, it is. Okay. And he's gone. What was that, like 15 experience? Oh, so he must be with the Imperial forces. Thanks for the heads up then. How does an assassin get let into our castle though? I, I don't understand that. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just go to bed. Oh, well, uh, let's go check it out then. Let's head outside. Who's this? This guy's name is Kirkus. He swam across the frickin' ocean! What dedication! <laughs> oh, he's an elf. Well, yeah. He heard through the wind. Uh, okay, I don't even know what the hell that means, but okay. Yeah, you speak to me, bud. <laughs> Quanda Rosman is planning to exterminate the elves. Of course we're going to help you out. I mean, it's not every day you get a triath triathlon athlete in here. No. <laughs> that must have been one heck of a swim, though. Oh, crap. He, he, suggest, uh, he said that he suggests we head over to the Great Forest. Yeah, I keep doing that because uh, it's hard to tell when the text is full and when it's not. Anyways, let's talk to Matthew here. Now, just for the sake of recruiting other people, now some characters actually require certain characters to already be in your party. Look at all these people we have already. That's huge. Okay, so we're going to take Taiho here. We're going to take Lepin. Um, Juppo. Here we go. And really, you don't have to worry about formation for right now. But, just for the sake of it. There we go. We're not going to be fighting a lot with, these team, with this team. We're just going to go out recruiting with them. And now, the next town we have to go to, Kaku. That's where we have to dock. Flies past the Great Forest. Let us head for the Forest Village. Okay. Yeah, we've been there. We uh, went there and recruited some of your members there. Okay, let's hop on our boat and head back to Kaku. Oh, 
Okay, now you guys may want to save your game for this. It's going, it could literally end up costing you hundreds of thousands of bits. Let's head downstairs to where Taiho was. Oh, who's this guy? His name is Gaspar. Yeah, if we beat him in a game of dice, he'll join us, kind of like Taiho did. So let's play him. Now, I believe you have to win 5,000. Yeah, you have to win 5,000 bits from him. But what he doesn't tell you is if, say, you bet 5,000 and you lose, you then have to beat him for 10,000. So it doubles or however much money you, uh, uh, you bet. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's just bet exactly 5,000. I'm feeling a little lucky right now. Okay, no hit. Come on, get one, two, three. All right. Yeah, he pays double. All right, that was an easy recruit. All right, Gasper joins the party. Now our uh, our headquarters actually has a dice place where you can play Gasper anytime you want, and you can play dice with him. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty much the go-to way of making a lot of money. Though it is 100% random, I still like the cup game better, but we can't get to the cup game anymore. And yeah, remember this girl's here? His name's Meg, and her uncle is Juppo. But anyways, to reiterate on that, the way to win at dice, in my opinion, is just save before you play him. Bet max, and... He'll allow you to bet your winnings each time you beat him. So you... Or I, I believe he does. Yeah. You bet 9900 and then he'll... If you triple from him, you can bet like 27000 And then you can just get on a roll and just destroy him in dice for hundreds of thousands of bits. Alright, Meg joins the party. Okay, let's head out of here. Also, I failed to mention, I went to, well, back in Kaku, on the way back to the headquarters, I actually um, put another water rune piece that we got at the Leopard Mansion on the tier. So there we go. Okay, here's Saika. Let's go into the inn here and talk to this guy. This guy's name is Sheena. Who's his family? Oh, Leopard's his dad, huh? <laughs> okay, and Sheena joins the party, but that's another piece of, uh, that's another reason why you need Leopard. If you didn't have Leopard, I don't believe he'd actually be in the inn. Or maybe he is. But yeah, Lepit, he left our party. So now we're one character short. Okay. Now what we gotta do, we're gonna head back to the headquarters and rearrange our party exactly how I want it for the next area. There's no more recruits we can get for right now that you need a certain party for. So I'll just do this on screen, I might as well. Plus, I'll show you all the new stuff around our uh, headquarters. Yeah, and look at this. When it shows this uh, our castle, that means our castle has been upgraded. A very cool feature about this game. But before doing anything else, I'm going to take a second and be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's check out our new castle. Yeah, remember we had two floors last time? We have four floors, well, five with the basement. But yeah, let's check out the first floor here. Also, this is a spoiler, but I'm going to tell you right now, you absolutely want Pan in your party for pretty much the remainder of the game at all times. Why? Well, I'm not gonna tell you that, because that's too much of a spoiler. Anyways, here's Gaspar. You can play his little dice game if you want. I don't think I don't think that's necessary right now, though. And 
yeah, we got a little bridge here. Look at that view. That's awesome. And yeah, there's just a uh, family living here. Nothing upstairs though, so don't worry about it. Um, let's see here. Set up to the... Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you the rest of the our village later. So let's go up to the third floor real quick. I want to show you where Matthew is. Because he's a critical uh, piece to be able to change your party. He's right here. So yeah, let's change and eject people from our party. We can send Taiho out of here and Chapo. And let's... Let's add Pan. Um, absolutely add Kai. And we'll use Cleo. Okay, we'll uh, rearrange our stuff right here. Get Pan up in the beginning, up in the front row. And we're going to switch Kai with Gremio since he's a lot better. And then we'll be heading out to the Great Forest. Next time on Let's Play Suikoden! This is RPGLPs, heading out. I'll see you next time!